By profession I am a philologist and a specialist in historical linguistics, uh, which means in my case Germanic historical linguistics. That is, Germanic is not a synonym for German. Uh, it is everything that belongs, all the languages that belong to this group. English is a Germanic language, of course, German, all the Scandinavian languages, uh, Frisian, Yiddish, and all the dead languages, that is Old English, Old High German, Old Norse, and some of them which are dead and no one speaks them, like Gothic, for example. So that has always been my field. And someone who studies these things naturally studies the history of words. So etymology has always been part of my profession. Uh, but etymology as a, as a real profession, something that is now probably number one in my life, happened quite by chance. Years and years ago, while writing a book on something quite different, I ran into a word uh, which looked more or less, it was a German word, uh, sounded and looked more or less like the word uh, Heidrun, uh, which is the name of an Icelandic, or an old Icelandic uh, goat, a uh, nanny goat, or, and I thought, well, that's of course the same name as German Heidrun, naturally, and is it, what is the origin of the name? So I looked it up and found out that the origin was unknown, which surprised me very much because it's a very well-known name. And then it occurred to me uh, that the first syllable sounds like the word heifer in English. So I thought, is it possible that heifer is uh, related? I looked up heifer and found origin unknown. Uh, my curiosity was piqued, and I decided to study the origin of the word heifer rather than heidrun, which took me half a year. Uh, I found out something. There was not terribly much to find out, but I found out that the origin of the word was certainly not unknown. I was over 50 then, and I uh, looked at the number of words in Webster's Dictionary, and it seemed that I did not have enough years if every word would, uh, could take half a year. So, uh, and I was also irritated that dictionaries didn't give any clues to further research, uh, that one simply had to eat one's way through volumes of unprofitable bibliographies, whereas other languages have very good etymological dictionaries. You open this dictionary, and even if it said the origin is disputable or unknown, or something along these lines, they will list the entire bibliography, saying read these, these, and these articles, and in such and such books you can find, you can find something. Uh, there are no such English dictionaries. So I decided to write such a dictionary. And that's how, by chance, almost by mistake, uh, my career in etymology began.